quite often I receive the question, is cybersecurity a safe field to get into? And my quick answer really is, yes, careers in cybersecurity are future-proof. Cybersecurity itself is future-proof. But of course, there is much more to that answer that you need to understand. Hi, my name is Christoph Putz. I'm your IT career guide. And here on this YouTube channel, I talk about all the different areas in IT and career-related topics and questions. So cybersecurity is something that has been really hot for quite a while. The uh, salaries are high. There are quite a few open positions here and there. It's a very interesting field with very many different type of careers within cybersecurity. And uh, so there's a lot of interest really for people either from existing areas in IT that are maybe slowly becoming obsolete and these individuals are looking for a new area to get into or people coming out of school, out of college, or um, trying to figure out what type of certifications to take to start a career in information technology. And cybersecurity from that perspective is a very interesting field. So why is cybersecurity, I wanna say, something that I think is future-proof? So for one, we have to look at cybersecurity and the different areas where it applies, and that's pretty much anything. Let's talk data centers, servers, websites, the internet. Uh, there's cybersecurity involved. You need to protect your assets, your data, your services that you provide. And you want to make sure that the integrity, of course, is not impacted. And with integrity, I mean, you want to make sure that data doesn't, don't, does not get uh, unauthorized, manipulated changed or destroyed. So let's assume you are a large data provider for a financial institution. And what would happen if that data gets deleted and you don't have a backup? Yeah, you would be dead in the water, your business would crumble, and uh, yeah, all the employees and everyone involved um, yeah, will not have a fun time. So data integrity and data destruction is just one of those items, but pretty much anything on the internet. Think beyond data centers, internet, networking, and all that stuff. Look at the power grid as an example. Maybe you have seen that uh, movie Die Hard uh, with Bruce Willis where the power grid goes down and uh, a certain individual wants to trigger really bad um, events happening and um, then steal a lot of money from the Social Security Administration. So. In this movie, the power grid goes down, there's a lot of chaos, and uh, yeah, this is probably just, I wanna say, something that we could expect if the power grid goes down in the entire country or in any entire country. When you lose power, you lose the ability to communicate with people. So it puts you into a position where fear could rise, and naja, I don't need to talk about the potential outcome in general. So the power grid needs to be protected. You need to think about terrorist attacks, not just for power, but also let's say water treatment plants. What if water treatment plants are being attacked and suddenly the water that comes out of the faucet is no longer safe to drink? Those type of things uh, are all driven by technology. It's not just the, the physical piece that manages, let's say, a water treatment plant, but there are computer systems involved and so on. Then you have to think about healthcare, and let's say you are um, uh, a victim of a, a car crash, you are in surgery, and suddenly, uh, well, somebody hacks into that hospital and all the systems go down in the middle of your surgery, you might potentially die. I'm just exaggerating, but I'm trying to give you an idea what could happen. Same thing as if your um, medical history gets deleted or changed, and suddenly you get a medication that is not compatible with another one that you take because somebody hacked into the database and switched things around. So cybersecurity, there is a large, large need in general for the long term that cybersecurity is around. We need cybersecurity professionals that are not just able to push a few buttons, but people that can really think like a hacker and um, then help really preventing attacks or develop tools and systems that then help to prevent these type of attacks. So there is not just the people that work in cybersecurity, but also the supplying industries that uh, create the technology that allows everyone else uh, to be safe. So lots of areas to, uh, I want to say, to look at from, from a professional perspective, from a career perspective. So you could go into the administrative portion, like a system administrator, systems engineer, uh, from a cybersecurity perspective. So you could be um, a cybersecurity analyst. Uh, networking plays an important role. So even network engineers have a great way into cybersecurity. And uh, from that perspective, really, it's important to understand how you can get there and then really build up a foundation because cybersecurity will change. There might be new professions in two years that did not exist today. And uh, if you are positioned with a broad and good understanding of the larger, I want to say, framework, the bottom foundation that you need in cybersecurity, you position yourself for 
a steady career or with ability to change careers on the fly with very little knowledge or change that you need to have uh, to make the career move. So cybersecurity from that perspective, almost endless opportunities. It will change. What you do today in cybersecurity will most likely be very different in five years from now. And 10 years from now, I don't even want to talk about it. Things are changing too fast. Uh, think about artificial intelligence. Think about uh, the, I want to say, the hackers, the attackers that are trying to break into your infrastructure. Usually cybersecurity works in a way that you get an attack, um, the attack gets discovered, and then maybe the attack itself, the, the gate, or gateway how these people came into your system that gets patched. But you learn from that, you adapt, you create new systems, new policies, new software that responds to these type of attacks. And uh, from there, it's like almost the, uh, the game, the hackers have an advantage, somebody discovers this, the advantage disappears because it's being patched and better tools are being developed. Artificial intelligence can help and really go through log files that usually in the past you had to go through by hand and identify attacks and potentially research. Artificial intelligence can learn and do this type of work significantly faster. So that plays a major role, but artificial intelligence, yeah, it can make some jobs obsolete or it can advance these jobs because somebody needs to work with that AI model and really train the model, make sure that the conclusions that artificial intelligence pulls out of that data are correct. So again, a career that might go away, somebody, an analyst that goes through log files, um, gets downgraded, but on the other side, there's a new career developing because that artificial intelligence model needs to be fed with the right data, with rules and understanding, and then really that the artificial intelligence can build its own, I don't wanna say conscience, that's always a, a dangerous word with artificial intelligence, but you get the idea. It has to learn and then really develop the ability to understand what is happening in the environment and how does it need to respond. So this is not necessarily a video how you get into cybersecurity. This is more a video talking about is this a good field to get into? Are cybersecurity careers future-proof? Is cybersecurity future-proof? And the answer is yes. Uh, there is so much you can probably hear the excitement from my voice. There's, I want to say it's almost like an El Dorado, a, a greenfield opportunity, even though we're already many years into cybersecurity, but things will be changing. There's always room for more. And if you decide to get into cybersecurity, my big advice is, Try to work with bleeding edge and cutting edge technology as early as possible. Get as much time spent on those evolving technologies as soon and as long as possible as you can, because that is the advantage that you can gain about others. Others might just settle in and like, okay, I feel safe here. I'm in my comfort zone. I know what I'm doing. And then the world changes around them and then suddenly they're scrambling. Don't be that guy. Don't be that gal. So work with cutting edge, bleeding edge technology and then cybersecurity. It's like um, the world is open for you to really make this a super career, not just from a financial perspective, but also something that is fun. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about cybersecurity. Are you already working in cybersecurity? Are you trying to get into cybersecurity? What additional questions do you have for me? So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. It will really help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then I would say I'll see you next time in my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.